Hey everyone, so today I have probably one of the most exciting videos to happen this whole month. It is my Panda palette update, so get excited. Um, I was sick for probably like two and a half weeks in March, so I wasn't wearing much makeup and I obviously was not on YouTube for a while. So because of that, I obviously didn't make as much progress as I would have had I been wearing makeup, you know, normally for during those two and a half weeks. During those two and a half weeks, I think I wore makeup twice total. Um, and even then it was like a cream shadow eyeliner and like tinted brow gel and like maybe a BB cream if you were lucky. So I was looking really, um, you know, rough around the edges for a while, but I'm back to normal now, which is great. And I'm back filming. So today I want to update you guys where I'm at with my Lorac Pro. I know in the past months I've made more progress than I have this month, but I was sick and wasn't wearing makeup. So what are you going to do? Um, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to kind of, you know, take it for what it is and move on. So. That means that April's only going to be that much better because, you know, I will be, or I plan to wear makeup, you know, normally. So, um, yeah, I'm going to insert a picture of where I was last update. So on February 1st, I'm going to insert that picture so you can see where I was and then it'll make more sense and help you see the progress I've made since then. So I'm going to insert that now. Alright, so now we're going to open up this bad boy and see where I'm at now that it is the end of March. Um, so, drumroll please, here we go. This is my palette after four months. I started panning this on December 1st. So I started about a month earlier than, you know, a lot of other people. But, you know, some people started even earlier before me, so it's not that big of a video. Um, so this is four months for me. Finished two eyeshadows and I have pan on nine other ones. So that's really exciting for me. I never would have thought I could have done that in four months. Like, what? Um, so I'm just going to quickly go over with you guys what my goals were for March, how I've been using the shadows, and what my goals are for April. I'm going to try to keep it as short as I can because I know I can ramble. And since I haven't been filming, I feel like I just talk, 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 talk. And... You probably don't want to hear that, and if you do, you can watch the vlogs that I've been doing lately because all I do is chitter chatter all day long, and that's where you should be checking it for my chitter chatter. Okay, so in March, I wanted to finish cream, I wanted to hit pan on mauve, hit pan on garnet, and use a good chunk of champagne up. I don't know how the heck I did this, but I hit all those goals. It, like, it is seriously a miracle. I did not wear makeup for two and a half weeks, and that makes me wonder holy crap, what could I have done if I was wearing makeup for those two and a half weeks? So April's going to be a big month, I think. Um, so I did finish cream. I actually finished it today. So I just finished cream. So now I'm done with white and cream. Um, those are the only two shadows that I finished, but I'm really excited about that. Um, so that was one that I did finish. Um, champagne down here, as you can see, I've cleared out this whole bottom section. So I only have up here left, which is really exciting. Um, and I'm trying to like, you know, make sure I'm using it every day. Um, I wanted to hit pan on mauve. It is a little a little spot of pan, but it's pan, so it counts. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And then I also hit pan on garnet. So that is where I'm at. I did hit all those goals, which, again, don't know how it happened. So because I finished up white and cream, and I use a matte cream or white shadow all over my eyes every day, like to set my um, eye base and as a brow bone highlight and stuff like that. I pulled out a single. This one um, is going to be living in the small Z palette. I also put in my like under eye setting powder, but I didn't want to make it confusing. So this is the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using now. It's from Tarte. It was in a palette, but I depotted it. It's larger than any of these shadows, so it's going to take me longer to hit pan um, and use it up, but that's fine by me. So this is what it looks like now. Um, it still has the Tarte name on it. You can see it's starting to rub off towards that side. So no pan, no dips, pretty brand spanking new. So um, that's the shadow I'm going to be using now. So that's exciting. Um, and my plan is as I finish these up, I'm going to start pulling like singles and try to use go through other shadows. Um, so that's kind of the plan for now. Um, so I'm going to use that all over my eye like I had been talked about that before. Taupe I use as a contour. Oh, I did do a get ready with me for this look, like my whole face, the foundation, concealer, bronzer, highlighter, blush, eyes, everything. I did a get ready with me for this look. It's going to be up on Friday, so stay tuned for that. Um, and this is just like the look I've been doing recently since it's becoming more warmer out where I live. It's more springtime-ish and it's lighter, so I want to share that. And I have some new products that I love. 
So um, check that out on Friday when it comes out. Light pink I use on the inside of my eyes. I've also been using it on my lid, um, you know, to brighten that up. And I also have been using it as a blush topper if I get a little bit too heavy handed with my blush. And it's worked really well actually. Mauve I use in my crease um, in transition kind of the area and I've also used it as a blush and I love it as a blush. I've seen other people comment in other people's videos that they've been using mauve as a blush and I tried it and I am so in love with it. So I'm going to try to, you know, use that as much as I can as a blush because why not? I love it. And if I ever go heavy handed, I just put a little bit of light pink over it. It lightens it up, softens it. No biggie. Sable here, the pan has grown. I use it right in um, almost like a cut crease but not quite. Um, you'll see in the get ready with me, but um, I use it to deepen up my eye looks. Um, it's definitely going to take me a while to get through this shadow, but I'm happy that the pan is growing, so I can't complain. Espresso and black haven't changed. There's no pan on them. I finished up the eyeliner. I was using the double-sided one, um, and now I'm using a plum shade eyeliner. It's from Pixie. It's right here. Um, that's what I have on today. Um, slate I haven't used. I did hit pan on it, though, so it's kind of like done. These four shades, these four dark ones, as soon as I hit pan, I'm kind of like considering them done. So I don't think I'm going to go back to slate. It's a really tough color for me to pull off, but we'll see. Maybe in the fall I'll want to wear it again. So um, deep purple I've been using to set my liner because it matches and it, you know, it's a way for me to use deep purple. Garnet I've been using on the outside of my eyelids just to kind of add a little bit more like dark, you know, bronziness. Um, and I've also been using it on my lower lash line and I have like really blue eyes um, and this kind of a color underneath my lower lash line I feel like it really makes my eyes pop more and makes them seem a little bit more blue so I really have been enjoying that and I think I'm going to keep doing that for a while. Haven't used pewter, used light bronze like twice when I had to go to the doctor and want to look like somewhat presentable. I just took a fluffy brush and swooped all over my eyelids and that was that. Um, Gold I have used a little bit more. The pan is a little bit bigger, but I'm not using it as much as I was. I think over the summer, I'm definitely going to be using this more because everyone loves that like bronzy gold tan look. So I probably will be using more of that then. And then champagne I've been using on my eye looks. I also use it in my inner corner. Um, so that's something that I've just been using every day. And I layer it. So like if I want, I put gold down and layer this on top. Or I put um, garnet and layer that on top or whatever. And the nude, I've used as a highlight a few times. Um, I really haven't been wearing much highlight, but I did wear it today, and I do really like it. I think it's really pretty, so that's how I'm going to be using that one. Um, but once champagne's gone, I can see myself going through nude pretty quickly. Like, it's a perfect kind of, like, lid color for me. So I'm just trying to get through champagne first. So now that we've gone through how I use everything, let's talk about the goals that I have for myself for April. Um, I would like to finish up champagne just because there's not that much left and I feel like I definitely can as long as I stick to it. So I'm going to try to finish champagne. I also would like to finish mauve and I know that's pretty ambitious but I think if I use it as a blush and in my crease every day, I think I can definitely do it. Um, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm being a little bit too ambitious but I'm going to try. So that is a goal of mine and then also I'd like to hit pan on deep purple over here. So those are my three shadows that I'm really going to be focusing on. Obviously, I use other shadows every day for other things, but those are the ones that I, you know, would like to see more progress on for the next month. So this is four months of panning this palette. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of it, um, and I am allowing myself to use other shades from other palettes or other singles with it, so it's helping, you know, um... But that's where I'm at. I'll let you guys look again. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me through this. This is like the craziest and hardest challenge I've ever done in my life. I never would have thought that I could hit pan on the eyeshadow, let alone finish one. And it's super exciting. Also, every month I'm going to be updating you on this like eyeshadow single that I'm going through now. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to insert all the pictures from the beginning so you can see my progress. I'll also have my playlist linked down below. It's in all my videos. And stay tuned for the Get Ready With Me that's coming out on Friday um, for this look because I did use the Lorac Pro um, on my eyes and cheeks and stuff today. So stay tuned for that if you are looking for some inspiration or just want to see how I did this look. That is everything I have for you guys. Thank you for watching. If you're doing a Pan That Palette, let me know down below. I am addicted to these, so please let me know. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So I'm going to go before I keep rambling. Um, and yeah, so have a great day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.